the hotel. Number seven, first day tragedy. February 27th was Prince William County Police Officer Ashley Gwinden's first day on the street. Police say as she responded to a domestic call, Ronald Hamilton shot and killed her. Two other officers were hit but survived. Hamilton is also accused of killing his wife, Crystal. Number six, the new museum. In late September, the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture opened to the public. It's been so popular that its timed passes have proved hard to come by. Tom Rousey, ABC7 News. And we didn't have to think long to figure out what the <laughs> big weather story was for yeah, 2016. The, the blizzard from last January. It's hard to believe it's been that long, almost a full year since, uh, since what was it, 50-some hours of continuous coverage? It was, it was. <laughs> so no sign of anything like that in nothing, 2017, hopefully. Nothing like that, at least not for the next 10 days. I do have maybe a dusting of snow in there for you, but that is going to be about it at this point. Right now, temperatures still hanging uh, not too far from the 50-degree mark. We hit 56 today at Reagan National. A lot of places places into the mid 50s. We're waiting for the clouds to move in and then it's the rain after midnight. Once the clouds show up, temperatures will stop from falling too much farther. In a few places we are already into the 30s, but for most of us it's really not too cold of an evening. Getting the dog out there for a walk here, we've got 46 for you around 7 down to about 42 at 9. Then as those clouds do start to move in, you'll notice the temperature doesn't really drop too much more from there. So overnight that rain's going to start to push into the area for us. I expect it after midnight and then it is going to stick around for the majority of our Monday morning commute and then right on through Monday and a good portion of Tuesday. So overnight temperature spread stays above freezing for everybody, but it is going to be a cold rain that we're watching. You can see plenty of it as we go from Virginia all the way down to Atlanta and into Birmingham. A lot of that moisture will be working its way toward us over the next couple of days. At this point, still dry. Once again, just kind of watching as the clouds continue to build into the picture. I want to start off tomorrow morning. That's at 6 a.m. on your Stormwatch 7 Futurecast. And you'll notice rain widespread across a lot of the area. The one place we'll see a bit more of a break, some more dry time, will be into the Shenandoah Valley for tomorrow, so not quite as much rain for you there. As we do get into the D.C. area, Southern Maryland, that rain sticks around for most of the day. Here we are still at 2 o'clock. I do think we see it light up for us, lighten up for us by the time we get to Monday evening, so that drive home. We get into Tuesday, you're going to watch as the rain builds right back in here for us, ready for that Tuesday morning commute, so if you're off tomorrow, the kids don't have to go back just yet. Still dealing with that rain, getting back into the swing of things on Tuesday. And I do think that's when we'll see our heaviest rain as well, especially right around 10 o'clock in the morning. We get into the drive home on Tuesday, things do start to dry back out. So early tomorrow morning, looking for temperatures around 42 around the district, light rain, and then rain still likely for you from about 8 to 10. Those temperatures just up to about 43. We go throughout the day, you'll top out at 45, so staying cloudy, staying cool. And once again, you're going to need the umbrella for most of the day. The rain is light for us on Monday. This is by Monday evening, 930. Most of us just about a quarter of an inch. But as we go into Tuesday, notice a lot of areas have that chance to pick up more than an inch as we as we do wrap up this rainy event for Monday and Tuesday. A little bit warmer on Tuesday. Originally was shooting for some warmer temperatures than that, but unfortunately I think we're going to get stuck in the low 50s. Still in the 50s on Wednesday, but then the bottom drops out. Highs are just in the 30s, especially as we head into next weekend. Now that chance for a dusting, that's Thursday night and into Friday. We'll have to watch that one closely right now really just not a lot of moisture to work with but either way much colder heading into the end of the week it's january weather exactly it's what just do we kinda, expect it's kind of where we're heading mm -hmm. uh, 2017 starting mild but then whoo. <laughs> <laughs> well hey it's whoo for the redskins they are on we're the board heading the right direction <laughs> I, you know i have even better news than that just being on the board we'll talk about it coming up in sports <laughs> we'll update you on the redskins and giants and the terps were left scratching their heads today after their game with nebraska highlights Coming up after the break. Your final chance to save. Huge Coons year-end savings on thousands of new remaining Coons Toyotas, Fords, Chevys, Jeeps, and more. Plus, up to thousands of dollars more for your trade. Online now at Coons.com. Your final chance to save. Huge Coons year-end savings on thousands of the new Toyotas you want. Plus, get up to thousands of dollars more for your trade. But it all ends January 2nd at Coons Tyson's Toyota. Why are you crying? Life's injustice got you down. <laughs> oh, don't, don't.
not do the right thing with me. Hot Bench is here to lay down the law. How dare you come to my court with some nonsense like that? Wow. Just keeps getting better and better. Hot Bench. Get that warm and fuzzy feeling. Never seen such a happy defendant. I meditate a lot. Weekdays at 3 on ABC7. Get some of our biggest savings and the lowest payments of the year right now during the Hyundai Holidays year-end sales event. Come lease the Tucson for just $139 a month or buy with zero down. Lease the Sonata for only $139 a month or buy with zero down. Or the Elantra on sale now for a low $109 a month lease or buy with zero down. And they all come with America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. And the Hyundai Holiday Sales Event is the reason to buy now. During the final hours, get huge year-end savings now through Tuesday, January 3rd at Hyundai. ABC 7 News is brought to you in part by AAA.